Okay, we're going to take a look at installing Server 2022 within VMware. And the first place you want to go if you don't have uh, an ISO for Server 2022 is the Microsoft Eval Center. Since this is for lab purposes, we can use the evaluation copy. Um, you can download it. It'll ask you some information. And then we're going to go over to our VMware cluster. And I'm going to look at storage. And I'm going to take a look. I have an ISOs folder in my data store. And this is where I save all of my ISOs. Just helps keep things organized. Um, so I've already uploaded that. If you don't have it uploaded, you would click this upload file and point it to the correct directory. And it would upload your ISO. Going back to our VM tab here, um, you can come up to your data center and you can create a new virtual machine and we'll select create a new virtual machine. We're going to give it the name lab-srv2022. Actually, let me make that all caps. And we will click next. It's going to ask you what host you want to put it on in your data center. Um, we're going to go with ESX02. We'll click next as that's, that's my newest host. And we're gonna put it on our SAN data store. Um, I'll do a video on this shortly. I uh, just got this up and running. Uh, so we'll click next. And we'll have it set to compatible with ESXi 7.0 update two and later. Um, I'm running, I believe it's update three, the most, re re I am running the most recent release of ESXi 7. We'll click next. Guest OS family is going to be Windows, and it's going to be Server 2022. We'll click Next. Uh, we can accept the defaults. We'll leave it on the lab LAN, and we're going to come down to CD DVD drive and select Data Store ISO file. And we're going to come over to our ISO folder here. And we're going to find the Server Eval uh, ISO file that I uploaded and click OK. We're going to select Connect at Power On. And I'll leave the rest of this as the default for now. We'll click Next and Finish. It's going to generate a virtual machine. And once this is, yep, we're all set. So we can power it on with this Play button up here. And it should prompt, there we go. We can click Launch Web Console, press any key. And it's going to go through the installation. Um, there's a couple of questions we'll have to answer pretty standard Windows installation process from this standpoint. Um, we're going to select our language to install. I'm going to leave it as English. Time and currency format, same thing, English, United States. Keyboard or input method is US. You can select you know, whatever regions you are in. We'll click Next. We'll click Install Now. I'm going to pick Windows Server 2022 standard eval desktop experience. This will install the GUI. We'll click next. We'll, we can accept the software license terms. I'm going to choose a custom install. This is where you'll select all your partitions or the drive you want to install it on and it will the installer will create the partitions. So we can click new, apply. It's going to tell you it's going to create additional partitions. Click OK. And then click Next. And it's going to run through the installation process. Once this is done, it will reboot and then we can log in. We're going to restart our system. We can give our new server 2022 a password. It's going to finalize the settings and it's going to take you to the login screen. We'll do control alt delete. Log in. And there you go. We have server 2022 installed in a virtual machine and it is pretty uh, it's pretty standard Windows installation. Um, nothing super complex about it. 
Um, if you can install other versions of Windows servers, you can do 2022. Um, it's running on, so this host that I have it running on is my newest host, it's an R730. Um, no issues with TPM or CPU compatibility for server 2022. Um, Windows 11 is another story. We'll do another video on that at a later date. I'm working on trying to bring my lab up to the most recent operating systems for, uh, you know, experimentation, etc. So hopefully this helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up below. Consider subscribing to the channel. And you can follow along on my Instagram as well at ACH underscore sysadmin.